Today on Two Crazy Kivas, we're gonna show you what you can do with your leftover turkey. And you're gonna to wanna to gobble it up right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Kitas. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Kitas, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So uh, it's Thanksgiving time. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And that means we're going to have leftover turkey. A ton of leftover turkey. And we're not talking about just the leftover turkey that you get with like the perfect slabs for, you know, the sandwich. That's what everybody's looking for. I'm talking about the pickings. Yeah, the little pickings, the dark meat that nobody wanted to eat, the pieces off the bones. I don't want to throw that out. It's perfectly fine, but it's like it looks wonky to kids and stuff, right. and then you're arguing with them to eat it. Yeah, so today we're going to make turkey pot pie, keto style. And it is delicious. Okay, so are you ready to get into this? I am. Let's go over what we're going to need to make this. By the way, this recipe really is super easy. How easy? It is so easy that even Rachel could make it. Yay, I love that because maybe you're not around, you're Black Friday shopping and I'm the one that needs to make some of these things. That's right, so let's go over what we're gonna need. The first thing we're going to need is we're going to need half of our pie crust recipe. I'm going to leave a link for that down below. Um, and you can also watch the video right up here. And now this is going to be the savory version. So when you see that recipe or you watch that video, all you're going to do is eliminate the vanilla and eliminate the erythritol. So you're only gonna need half of this recipe though. So we've got that here. I've already got it actually rolled out into one piece. So we're just gonna put this off to the side. We're gonna need that when we get to that part. Mm -hmm. We're going to need some broth. Now, this is actually turkey broth that is left over from after we made our turkey. I took all of the bones, I threw them in the Instant Pot, put it on slow cook for like 24 hours and got my broth out of it. But if you don't have that, any chicken stock, chicken broth, you know, kettle and fire, that stuff will all work fine. You're gonna need two cups of it. So we can put that off to the side there. We're going to need some onion powder. Yay. We're gonna need some garlic powder. Fighting vampires. We're going to need some salt. Redmond. We're going to need some heavy whipping cream. We're also going to need something that's new to our kitchen, and this is a cognac flour. I'll show you this up here. It's also known as glucomon powder, and this is like going to be your thickener. This is what's gonna give you that thick gravy. Now, if you don't have that, you can use xanthan gum, but uh, the xanthan gum kinda gets a little slimy this works much better in a sauce or a gravy. Cool. Okay, so from there, uh, we're going to need, obviously, the star of the show, turkey. And look at this, these are all the That's bits and pieces. Pieces that I pulled off the bone, took some extra stuff, chopped it all up. Uh, two to three cups of it is good. We're gonna use a little bit of cheddar cheese. And then we're gonna need some butter. A lot of ingredients in this one. Butter. And then we're gonna have our vegetables. Now your vegetables, it's up to you. This one's gonna kinda come up to you. Like, we're gonna use pretty much keto vegetables with one exception. A lot of people are gonna say this isn't keto, but when you consider that you're gonna get six to eight servings out of this pie, you're not adding a whole lot of carbs. So we're gonna start off with the one that everybody's gonna put in the comment section. That's not keto, which isn't true. Anything is keto. It's can you fit it when you come to eating all your macros. We're gonna use a half a cup of carrots, a quarter to half a cup. I mean, it's not a pot pie without carrots. No, I mean, and it adds so much color and like, I don't know, it's just, all of I these, like it. All of these carrots are gonna add about a half a carb per serving. And so again, you're gonna you're be cutting- you're not talking about a whole lot. And you're cutting this into mini pieces. Yes, okay. So for me, pot pie, means peas, but peas are a little bit higher than even the carrots. So we're gonna use some green beans. Green beans. And then finally, the way I like pot pie, 
pot pie should have potatoes in it, right? You should have that little bit of chunk in there. But while we're daring with the carrots, we're not going to we're potato not going, land. We're not going all over the place. So we're gonna use a half a cup of radishes. Now, again, you can sub some of these things out if you wanna put celery in instead of the green beans. Broccoli. You could use broccoli, but I was trying to go the other route. Anybody could use broccoli and cauliflower. We're gonna go to the other route and use dif these different things. Now, what I did eliminate was the onions because the onions did add about one and a half carbs per serving and that's why we're going with onion powder instead. Yeah. Okay, so then, then finally, we're going to need just some spray for the bottom of our pan. So you ready to do this? Yes. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna take our pan, we're gonna get it heating up, and we're gonna add to that three tablespoons of butter. Okay, and we're gonna use that, we're gonna soften our vegetables, so we're gonna let that start melting down. And once it melts down, we're gonna add in our vegetables. Okay, so as that's melting down, we're gonna start adding in our vegetables. So we're gonna go half a cup of radishes. We're gonna go a half a cup of carrots. And then finally, we're gonna go with a half a cup of green beans. Which again, look at the colors. This is so fun. Again, I mean, you can use a little bit less vegetables. You could use like some different vegetables. It's completely up to you. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of start letting this soften up a little bit and then we'll start adding in the other ingredients. Okay, so now that we have all of the vegetables softened up, we're gonna start adding the rest of the ingredients. Look okay. how purple those radishes got. Yeah, so we're going to add in our leftover turkey and whatever you have left. You know, we're, we have probably about two and a half, three cups here. Make sure there's no bones. Yeah, we already have just pieces in there. So we're gonna start mixing that in. Then to that, we're going to add two cups of our broth. Again, this is turkey broth. And I didn't put any vegetables or anything. This is literally just the bones and a little bit of salt. We'll turn that up a little bit. Mmm, it already smells incredible. And then we're going to add our heavy cream. We got a half a cup of heavy cream. And I'm gonna save that cup for my coffee. No, we're not gonna save that cup for a coffee. We're gonna use the spatula and scrape out all that heavy cream. Man. <laughs> There's about a tablespoon of heavy cream sitting in the bottom there. Why do you think I, I made that decision? <laughs> okay, while you're adding that, we're gonna add our seasonings in, and we're not even using a lot of seasonings because there's plenty of seasoning in that turkey. Got about a teaspoon of salt. We've got about a teaspoon of garlic powder. Not nearly enough for fighting vampires. And then we have about a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and we're using that in place of putting onions in some people don't like onions, and also the onions add carbs. But the onion powder adds a lot of good flavor. Yep. Now we're gonna kinda let this heat up a little bit. Go ahead and mix it up. So once it comes to a boil, we're gonna have it start like reducing down a little bit. Now we're gonna add in our cognac flour and uh, keep stirring it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of the cognac flour. Now this does not thicken up right away. It takes a little bit of time. And the way I like to do this is kind of sprinkle it all across the top as you mix it in while I'm doing this. Once you have it mixed in really well, we're gonna add in about a quarter of a cup of cheddar cheese. Mm. And this is just gonna give a little bit of flavor and help thicken it up just a little bit more. We'll give that a good stir. We'll let it reduce down a little bit more and then we'll transfer it into our pie plate. Well, it looks like we're about ready. Look at how thick this got. Yeah, it looks amazing. So we're ready now to transfer this over to our pie plate. So we're gonna turn this off. We're gonna push this off to the side without burning ourselves. Actually, let's leave this here and move this whole thing. Okay, put that over there. Put this thing, which is probably really hot. Super hot. Over here. So we're gonna grab our pie dish. We have our regular nine and a half inch shallow pie dish. We'll put that down. And then you can spray it with just a little bit of coconut oil. Okay. Now, one of the things I went back and forth with making this recipe of Sometimes you're gonna see turkey pot pies or chicken pot pies with a bottom crust. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't have a crust. I chose to go no crust to lower the carbs on this. I think that was the right move. Okay, so I am going to kind of put this on here and let you scoop it all in. 
Hold on, my hand's slipping. Okay, there you go. I don't want you to burn yourself. Okay, now you can go ahead and just smooth that all out. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the sink while you're doing that. I mean, this looks like chicken pot pie, turkey pot pie. The same consistency. You gotta step over the dog. She's laying like right here. Cause mommy's cooking. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're going to take our pie crust, which I've already pre-rolled. And because I rolled it up, we have it cracked a little bit. So we're just gonna have to move this to the side and we're gonna grab the rolling pin and fill those edges back in again. Pretty it up a little. I don't even need a rolling pin. All I'm gonna do is <laughs> just use my fingers like this. And then you just lay it on top of it, right? Then we can just lay it on top. Flop it down. That's a very important baking term. <laughs> Flop it down. Now I've rolled this to about an eighth of an inch. It did crack a little bit. And again, that's because I, like, I had it rolled up in the refrigerator. We're gonna go ahead and just place it across the top. Flop it down. We can kind of fix that a little bit. Plus you were gonna have to do holes anyway. Now what I like to do is just, instead of having the crust on the top because you would normally have a bottom, push that down. So take your little spatula and push it down like this. Oh. So then you're gonna get a very full crust on the ends. Right, and then you just break off these pieces like that. So <gasps> do you wanna go ahead and do that? I need those pieces though. <laughs> Now even this dish is probably a little bit deeper than one I would like. Probably a better a nine inch one would have been better, but this is what we have. Okay, so now that we have that pushed in, we're going to take a little egg wash. This side, this is kind of optional, but if you want to get that nice like it's like fancy glossy finish on there, Ooh, so I we wanna have be just fancy. an egg and just kind of give it a little bit of a wash across the top. Look at me painting. We even have a cooking paintbrush. Does it have a special name? <laughs> no, pastry brush, okay. basting brush. Okay, that looks good. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a knife. Now we already have the one slit because it was like broken and we're just gonna kinda cut a couple of holes in there. Make a smiley face. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Ready? Yes. Into the oven. 350 degrees, all we have to do is cook the crust, so probably about 10 to 15 minutes. When it's nice and golden brown, it's ready to go. Okay, so the pot pie was in for about 15 minutes, and this is what the result is. It's beautiful. Didn't get that nice kind of shiny crust that I was looking for, but that's okay. We probably just didn't put enough egg on top of it. Sorry. You wanna go ahead and taste this? Yes, please. That's okay. my favorite part. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna cut this into six pieces. Now, as far as the nutrition, I'm not gonna bother going over it. I'm gonna leave it all down in the description. It's also gonna be linked on the recipe, which you're gonna find down in the description. Uh, it's just gonna come down to what vegetables you put in it, as well as whether you put a top and a bottom crust, and also how many pieces you cut it into. So we're gonna cut it into like six servings. Looks so good. Now's the challenge, the first piece, getting it out. Always. Okay. Didn't quite cut it enough. But at least the sauce thickens up enough that you're not losing like no, all of it. There, you're gonna see there's not, oh, I probably should have used another plate instead because now you really can't see underneath it. Let me grab a different plate so you can see it. Nope, you can't steal a piece yet. I'll, I'll grab another piece in here and kind of plate that piece. There we go. Now you can really see. Stays look at that. nice and thick. Take a look at that. We got plates. Not a we plate. got a knife. We got the pie, but we don't have a fork. I got you. Mm, I feel like I should have the big one. Too late. <laughs> so, yeah, you got just like a nice piece of crust on top. And some yummy veggies. Go ahead. Whoop. So you can take a look at that. Look at that. I mean, it's turkey pot pie, chicken pot pie. Ready? Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> that is perfect. That is so good. I almost don't want to have the regular turkey. I I'm, I'm almost want to just, just have like this. just like this. Yeah. And what's nice is the radishes just soften up perfect. So you're going to swear there's potatoes in this. And there's no like, you know, strong, you know, clear out your sinuses no. radish flavor. No, it really, you kind of loses all the radish flavor when you're kind of, you know, cooking them down in that butter and then you're adding in all the sauce and everything. Kind of turns into a potato. Yeah, it's absolutely perfect. Now, like I said, I'm not going to go over all the nutrition. I will tell you based on this in six uh, pieces, it is going to be about five net carbs per slice. But again, it's gonna come down to how many vegetables you use, what kind of vegetables you use. You can use, like I said, celery. You could you know, use broccoli, you can use cauliflower. For me, this is just like a pot pie. And it is so nice for like colder weather, Yep. all through the holidays, this is the deal. And you don't have to use turkey, but this is a great thing to do with that leftover turkey that you're gonna have from Thanksgiving. So. Well, that's our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you make this and also let us know what other kinds of meat you would use because like I said, you're not just limited to, you know, turkey or chicken, but no. you could use beef, you could use shredded pork, you could even use lamb with this. Also, let us know what other vegetables you use because yeah. you don't have to use carrots and green beans and radishes like we do. Let us know what you put inside of it. Yeah. So like I said, that's our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.